Surgery is by far the best way to cure most cancers in the United States. What always bothered me was the fact that even after we did what we thought was a perfect operation, 40% of those patients were still going to come back with the same cancer. I've always felt that we can do cancer surgery better. So I started working on this project of, of making tumors glow. A very specific case really struck me. It was about a college student that developed lung cancer. We told the parents that the operation had gone smoothly and their daughter was probably cured. Three, four months later, the woman came back and she had recurred. What was even more disturbing to me at the time was the fact that the cancer had recurred really right where we had been working. So that night, I'd gone home. We had a newborn baby. And my daughter was asleep in the crib, and I laid down next to her for a couple minutes, and my wife had placed these fluorescent glow-in-the-dark stickies on the ceiling. And I remember just staring at the ceiling and saying, uh, boy, it would have been great if we could somehow make tumors glow. Because if tumors could glow, then we could be sure that we see all the little cancer cells when we do surgery. That sort of moment defined the next 10 years for me. The next question became, well, how do we physically get these fluorescent dyes to the tumor. And that was the reason that I started working with nanotechnology, because people were thinking of new ways to deliver small molecules to cancers. And using the same concepts that people were talking about for drug delivery, and using it to deliver these fluorescent dyes. What we would typically do is we do the absolute best operation that we can do, and then at the end of the case, we'll turn on the infrared camera to make sure in the wound bed that there's no cancer cells left behind. About one in 10 times we do a cancer operation using one of our imaging agents, we'll find something new. Since we opened the idea, we just helped our 900th patient. One of the best parts of my job is developing new technologies and working in science to advance the whole field of surgery. For really 200 years, 250 years of American surgery, we continue to do cancer surgery the exact same way. But I'm quite confident that cancer surgery will never be the same.